the sea hides a plethora of secrets, some of which have been solved while others remain a mystery. It's not surprising given that no one is expected to know everything, but when scientists refuse to respond, it raises questions. Here are the top 10 unexplained deep sea oddities ranging from underwater crop circles to the mystery of the Mary Celeste. Number 10. Underwater Crop Circle It's been a mystery for a long time how these nicely shaped circles came to be. It all started when Yoji Ukeda was capturing images while diving at Omani Oshima in Japan. Surprisingly, he discovered these rippling geometric sand patterns that resembled crop circles that occasionally develop on our farms. These works of art were over 6 feet in diameter and were discovered nearly 80 feet below sea level. Scientists worked for a long time before identifying the true cause of crop circles. It's none other than the pufferfish. Because of its small size, the pufferfish is obliged to labor day and night to complete its tasks. What puzzled most scientists is the accuracy of the pufferfish as it flapped its fin to curve these very perfect circles. Anyway, I think it won't be much help since all the pufferfish does is make some perfect art. What other explanation do you need? Number 9. Lost City of Heraclean I know sometimes you'll be asking questions like, what's up with all the lost cities? Fortunately, we have that covered today. If you take rumors to be part of the reality, the vanished city of Heraclean was regrettably destroyed by a devastating tsunami that flooded the entire city and its inhabitants. Many assumed it was a tale for thousands of years because it appeared in a few rare inscriptions and old literature until a first sighting was made. First was a colossal face that emerged out of the waterway shadows in the vast area of Abukir Bay. This discovery psyched up everyone's efforts to search for the rest of the city and in no time they finally found it, without its people, obviously. The Thonis Heraclean was found submerged 6.5 kilometers off Alexandria coast with 64 ships, 700 anchors, and a statue standing at 16 feet. Remains of a massive temple to the god Amun Gerab, tiny sarcophagi for the animals that were brought to be offered, and a treasure trove of gold coins. All these gave a glimpse of what the greatest port cities in the world looked like 2300 years ago. It's pretty advanced for their time, don't you think? It's unfortunate that Thani Heraclean was once a great city, but no one ever lived to tell us how it all ended up submerged entirely underwater. Number 8. Maelstrom A great danger awaits right in the middle of the Great Sea, where only the void fills it. They call it the Maelstrom. The name is so fancy that it almost appears to be harmless. But don't fool yourself. At this spot, there are numerous whirlpools that are created when water twists and turns after two opposing currents meet. The largest whirlpool can have a diameter of approximately 130 to 160 feet and is believed to be caused by several factors like tides or strong winds. It's inarguably a beautiful view to watch a maelstrom in play, but it's one you don't want to be caught up in. Once you're in it, it's probably game over because the currents are always too strong and keep on spinning, which will make you disoriented. Before you know it, you're right in the middle of the vortex being sucked to God knows where. This should be terrifying enough to make you stay away from a maelstrom. Number 7. Immortal Jellyfish I know a million people that are willing to give everything up for a shot at immortality, myself included. Many scientists are trying to figure out how the immortal jellyfish has a reset button that keeps its life under control. That's right, it can't die. This tiny transparent creature was discovered in the Mediterranean Sea in the 1880s. Despite it being known for so long, it wasn't until a century later that its secret to beating death was uncovered, hence the nickname. Scientists are still unsure how its cells regress and grow, but this jellyfish holds one great promise of beating cancer and other incurable diseases. 
This immortal jellyfish isn't only an extraordinary survivor, but also well-suited for survival on long trips, unlike others. Despite its secret being unknown to us, it's pretty obvious that this is the breakthrough we've all been waiting for. Number 6. Baltic Sea Anomaly In 2011, a deep-sea explorer found a strange oval-shaped object with strange markings at the bottom of the Baltic Ocean. The anomaly measured 70 centimeters when it appeared on a side-scan sonar between Sweden and Finland. The mystery remained unexplained, with many saying it might be a crashed UFO since it resembled the fictional Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Should we start packing if it really is what they're saying it is? It's still unclear because some scientists suggest it could be a Russian spaceship or the remains of a lost city from 140,000 years ago. Either way, with the anomaly still unsolved, it's hard to tell for sure either way if it's of alien origin or not. But scientists are still working tirelessly to find what it is at the bottom of the Baltic Ocean, with hope of finding answers as to what really brought the object they primarily found. Weird, right? Though the list of theories for it is getting shorter every day. When they do figure out what the object really is, you'll be the first to know. But until then, the theories you'll hear aren't fully proven. Number 5. Pyrosome Once again, another creature that's believed to be immortal has been discovered. The pyrosome is a free-floating colonial tunicate made of thousands of identical clones. They're closely related to salps, with the only difference being that these clones make up their entire body. Each individual clone is a complete animal that filters water non-stop in order to obtain food, flush out water, and contribute to the propulsion of the entire organism. Unless the individual clones are destroyed, they can regenerate the injured clones to fix the broken part or even grow in the process. It's pretty amazing how they all work together as a unit, right? With such an ability at hand, they're formed into a hollow shape and can be as big as 60 feet long and wide enough for a full-grown human to fit through. Pyrosomes are very friendly to humans and only feed on zooplankton through filtration, so their size shouldn't scare you. Now before you count it out, let's get to the fascinating part. The pyrosomes are capable of producing luminous light when needed, which makes them so beautiful to watch. Number 4. The Bloop Nothing like the enigmatic bloop sound captured in the South Pacific in 1997 had ever been heard before. It was an extremely loud, low frequency and had a distinct pattern leading to some believe it was a newly found species lurking in the depths. Well, I wouldn't argue about that because I'm not a science freak myself. But now that everyone is talking about how mysterious the bloop is, it's hard to rule it out. It didn't help that the sound came very close to H.P. Lovecraft's fictitious sunken city, Riley, where the creature known as Catalu is held captive. For years, researchers searched for the source of the noise, finally revealing in 2005 that it was an ice quake, which occurs when icebergs split off glaciers, which I'd say is not all that satisfying since it took so long for them to realize what that really was. Despite the fact that this argument is widely accepted, some conspiracy theorists believe the explanation is a little flimsy. Number 3. Atlantis of Japan When many people believe that stories about Atlantis are just made up to entertain us, the Japanese believe otherwise. 25 meters below the surface, off the coast of Ryukyu Island, is a series of beautifully carved steps that are known today as the Yonaguni Monument. They appear to be rectangular and carved at a perfect 90-degree angle, spanning about 50 meters long and 20 meters wide. This discovery has puzzled many since its first discovery in 1987, with many different theories coming up along the way. According to the rocks, some believe it is an aquatic civilization dating back 10,000 years. That's probably how it gained the moniker Atlantis of Japan. It's also thought that the Jomon people built it when they still lived on the island. 
while experts say it's a natural occurrence created by volcanic explosions millions of years ago, when many are still trying to figure out how they came to be. Let me know what you think when you get a chance to dive in and watch them for yourself. I think once again, Aquaman abandoned Atlantis. Number 2. The Bermuda Triangle a region of the North Atlantic Ocean bounded by the southeastern coast of the United States and the islands of the Greater Antilles contains a location that's not only avoided, but also provides scientists with answers. The Bermuda Triangle is known for the unexplained disappearance of planes and ships that leave no wreckage. They're just gone like that. Although the disappearance doesn't occur frequently, it's still not a reason to rule out as an anomaly. Scientists estimate that the number of ships lost in the Bermuda Triangle is around 50, with 20 aircraft disappearances having no reasons behind their disappearance, leaving them stuck between either a human error or a weather anomaly. Everyone is perplexed as to why no wreckages, not even a mast, were discovered. Pretty scary, huh? All these unexplained occurrences have led to the Bermuda Triangle not appearing on any world map and the U.S. not recognizing it as an official region in the Atlantic Ocean. Number 1. Mary Celeste On November 7, 1872, this masted brigantine ship set sail from New York with a cargo full of barrels of alcohol and seven crew members with its destination set for Genoa, Italy. It never arrived at its destination and was discovered floating in the middle of the Atlantic a month later with everything intact but no crew members. This definitely raised eyebrows, like what possible reason could you possibly have to abandon such a beauty with six months of food and free booze on a lifeboat? The crew that found the Mary Celeste probably thought that they had gotten themselves a free ship, but that wasn't the case. I mean. Anyone knew what she looked like from a mile away. The puzzling question is where the crew and captain went. They all just disappeared, never to be found. Some think they were attacked and thrown into the sea, but no bodies have been discovered. Some also believe that it's been their plan all along, because among the things that were found missing were Captain Briggs' sextant, navigation book, and chronometer. 